Okay, so immediately when I saw this, I see like somebody's cutting to the bare truth. Something will be revealed with knowledge. Okay, um, so secret, like with book. We have all pentacles here. We have the page of pentacles, which is a focus, right? The ace of pentacles, which is what he's usually holding in his hand. It's also a new start. And then we have the ten of pentacles. So very pentacle-like. So this could be dealing with money or a job. doesn't have to be. All right, so first we have side and sun. This talks about reaping joy. Um... Now, that may not be the intention of the secret coming out. Uh, it could, there could be no intention. We also have somebody who's a killjoy. Um, but I really feel like you're going, going to be reaping something. Um, I tried to get more information on the secret with book and I looked it up and I got lilies. So it has to do with sexuality and morality. And I feel like somebody is getting justice with the scythe and lilies because lily is morality right so we have reaping what you sow so a person may be telling you something um about themselves um also with the lilies we have very intimate knowledge okay so they're probably going to be telling you a secret that actually makes you happy okay <laughs> they may say i don't want to be a killjoy um but here's this Okay, not like they're trying to kill your joy. Maybe it's just something more depressing. And for whatever reason, it makes you happy. Like maybe you're just exactly, you're just ecstatic. I mean, that somebody opened up to you. Um, we also have somebody trying to clean up loose ends. Um, and then it makes it possible for the whole situation to just be brighter. Um, you feel like you don't have to be so serious. But I feel like there's just loose ends that need to be tied up. And it may be that you decide to just cut off what's not good for you anymore. Okay. But if they share a secret, this may be the only time they tell you. Because I have like a cutting off of confidence. And I don't think it's self-esteem confidence. I think it's like being a confidant. So that I could get, just hear somebody saying, you know, listen up and listen good. Here's this thing I need to tell you. And it's a secret. So it's not, I mean, it could be information, but it's more like a secret. Um, okay. So now we have side and book. And this is saying having knowledge about danger or risk and making it very obvious. So somebody may tell you like look it's very risky for me to tell you this but here it goes i already know it's risky but we also have painful truth with these two so it may be a truth that about something that is painful it may be painful to hear it although it's strange i have an ant crawling on my book oh now it's a dead ant there i go <laughs> that's kind of weird okay whatever I don't even have ants. <laughs> All right. Um, so it could be painful to hear it, but it's it could be something that helps you move on. Although I don't really get that from this whole reading. It's more like it's something hard for somebody to tell you. Because I get you learn it unexpectedly because the scythe is swift. And then we have something being known. So swift knowledge, like learning something, just you weren't completely caught off guard. And so now you're going to be taking stock. Um, to me, that's thinking about as well as using. So I have like, um, use what you've learned. Um, harvest what you know, kind of a thing. And then for some people, I actually have a final exam. Okay. So... Uh, that could be here as well. All right now with sun and book, uh, the truth makes you happy. And this is the last combination. So I really feel like whatever is told to you, even though it might have made you sad in the past, it might make you happy now, or it might just make you happy. Even if it's something that was painful for this other person, maybe. Or just very risky and painful for them to talk about and 
just be open. Maybe somebody's really closed off most of the time. And I'm also seeing you might just feel so relaxed and happy that you could read a good book. And with Lilies, that also talks about really high quality literature. So <laughs> you might read a really good book. Um, also have very, um, very successful academics or a very successful academic record. And also have popularity as a teacher. Okay. Um, so that might be something that becomes knowledge. I'm not sure how that would be. Somebody just might be celebrating their education, even if it ended prematurely. Um, not sure what that's about. And I also have an obvious truth, which I've talked about before in readings where people are making announcements. So maybe somebody's saying, you know, somebody was a teacher and they're very popular and it's just very obvious. And then we have um, a charismatic professor. So somebody who's bright and bubbly and kind of puts an end to things um, that aren't very pleasant. Also, I have proving the truth and showing the truth. And we have like, you know, cutting things down. It's like, we're cutting down and we're going to get to the truth. Or finally, I'm going to tell you something. And it's broadcasting one's knowledge. Now, I don't think this is going to be you necessarily. I feel like this is coming towards you. Um, this could be mutual. It could be sharing secrets or sharing knowledge that maybe should have been done a long time ago. Either way, pretty good. I always like it when information's coming out because I'm so nosy. <laughs> it could be about trauma because I just saw this, the moon. Okay. And we do have the moon and the sun, which both in tarot usually talk about moving on um, in one of the spreads that I do. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the two decks and just talk about what I see. Um, so I'll have the deck and then clarification. And if I need more, further clarification, then I'll use another deck that I have on hand over here. All right, so let's see what's going on with Cancers for October. The Empress Reverse, you know, I was going to say, I was like, I feel a little nauseated right now. I was like, are some of you pregnant? So it could be somebody's very, very pregnant or they haven't found out they're pregnant yet. That could be the fucking secret shit. Okay. And, uh, but some of you, you're not pregnant. Okay. Um, that's probably just an answer when I was saying, are people pregnant? You're probably saying no. Let's get some clarification. Ta-da! Ooh, the magician. Two major arcana. Somebody feels like something can't grow. Maybe the feminine person here. And somebody's like, I can make this shit happen. <laughs> like, that's my phrase. Like, make shit happen is what I got here. That's my phrase. But manifest. Somebody doesn't think something can manifest or grow. And somebody else is saying yes. Also, for whatever reason, divine feminine, divine masculine. That's random because I don't usually talk about those things ever. So um, it may feel like the feminine's out of reach and the, the masculine's like, nope, I got, I got plans. <laughs> wow. Okay. Um, the hermit. Wow. Three major arcana. Really? Cancers? Really? Okay. It may be some kind of knowledge or seeking because um, the hermit usually means to seek something. And we do have the star, which reminds me of the chariot, which is cancer. Um, I want to clarify a little bit with this hermit. Oh, wait, I'm supposed to do that with this card. Damn it, which I already saw it. The devil, four major arcana in a row. Are you fucking kidding me? This is great. Okay, so something huge is happening in your life, cancers. Um, so we have the devil uh, with the magician. So there's a little bit of trickster energy. Somebody's making something happen. If you notice, they're both using their hands to do something. One is kind of creating something or setting something free, and the other one is trying to cage it. Um, and we do have, with the hermit here, we do have the idea of trying to balance and sober up. So it could be somebody might reveal something about an addiction they've had, uh, maybe some kind of a love addiction or obsession or even something about sex. We did have the lilies earlier. But I clarified this one, and I got the six of wands. So it's going to be talking, or it's going to be leading to victory and success, but it's also attention. Um, so somebody will be announcing something. They will be broadcasting their knowledge. And funnily enough, we have broadcasting, and then we have the sun, which was kind of like our first reading. Um, broadcasting information. And they could, <laughs> you could get a secret, guys, that somebody is still carrying um, love for you, okay? 
And I don't know if they necessarily like that, okay. but it's there. Whatever it is, it's six of wands. That's really good. Okay, let's keep going. The five of pentacles. You know, with the hermit, it looks like somebody's have somebody's been out in the cold a long time. Maybe five years, five months. Um, and they haven't been with this person or whoever is, if this is romantic, whoever's telling them stuff. Let's see what it's about. The high priestess on the same side as the magician. That's six major arcana. Wow. So before you start feeling left out and not going and getting help or being in a place where you would be welcomed, listen to your intuition because there's something you don't know. So the secret may not be out yet at this point. But I think you, you kind of already know what it is. We do have the idea of addictions and obsessions um, with the high priestess here, um, with the devil. Let's clarify. Five of Pentacles reversed. That's so interesting. Okay. So even though it looks like you're left out in the cold right now, okay. It's because remember the Empress reversed, you couldn't visualize something, you don't see it happening. But then the magician showed up, which is like, yes, yes, it fucking is. So <laughs> we have the Five of Pentacles reversed, clarifying. Your intuition knows the truth. You might feel this way, but feelings aren't intuition, okay? Um, you might feel left out in the cold or like somebody's leaving or not coming back, okay? But your intuition says, guess what, baby? It's the exact opposite. Okay, let's get a little bit more. The Seven of Swords. Hmm. Okay, I want to clarify that real quick before I start talking about it because it could be a number of things. Six of Swords. Okay, it says believe and succeed. And we've talked about how you don't believe something's going to happen. And we're saying, yes, yes, it is. So here, the meaning's a little bit different than the Six of Swords. This is saying you're, you're being a little deceptive. You don't really understand. You're deceiving yourself and not believing in something. And typically, I don't want to inspire hope if I don't see it. Okay. So I think hope can be a dangerous thing sometimes because it can cause people to do all kinds of things that they wouldn't do if they knew the truth about something. But kind of going with our first reading, there's something really good that's coming in. And don't be a killjoy and ruin it, okay? So we have six and seven of swords, which tells me that the eight of swords and the five of swords might be alluded to here, meaning that you might be staying stuck in a mental prison Due to something terrible that may have happened in the past with the five of swords um and that may cause you to doubt something and the six of swords is moving on and like you have heading into the light right and we also have the six of wands which is triumph and also success so you're going to succeed in the situation that i'm talking to you about and i feel like if this is with a person which i do think it is because sharing of information just doesn't happen by yourself okay In the typical card, there's somebody driving the boat and then there's two people sitting in the boat. So I think you're going to be going on this journey with somebody, not leaving them behind. And it's going from rough waters to calm waters, which we all know, but that's just what I'm seeing you're going into. And I'm going to say, don't be tempted to look back based on this card. Don't be, you know, Lot's wife, okay? The Nine of Cups. Damn. Damn, Cancers. Okay. Sorry, I don't know why I'm talking like that. <laughs> I guess because I'm a Cancer, so I like to see the Nine of Cups when it comes up. You're really, you're reaping what you sow. So you've sown really good seeds. The Empress in reverse, you weren't seeing the harvest that you were putting in all the work for. Maybe it's just a bad few years. Okay, here's um, something I'm getting. Um, the Year of Jubilee very biblical term. So, um, I don't remember, is that seven years, 12 years? I'm not sure what it is, but we have the year of Jubilee, which is finally, there's a, 
um, a release of something. Usually it's a release of servants. Um, that's also like something coming in, reaping what you've sown. You're look at all those swords you're gathering. Like you even have so much, you can't carry it. So I get like blessings spilling over and look at the nine of fucking cups. You got everything you want or you will be. Okay. Let me just say that. Let's clarify it. Let's just pray. It's something good, right? Cause I don't want to ruin all this goodness right here. Gemini's had a good reading too. So I don't know what's going on with Gemini's and cancers. Da -da. The Ace of Pentacles. Oh, I'm going to have to stop before this gets too good. Okay. So <laughs> we have the Ace of Pentacles, which is a really good opportunity. Um, something you want. It's the right and stable path. We also have strengthening bonds. So a bond is obviously with two people. You know, hopefully just two if it's a love relationship. But they're strengthening bonds. So this could be technically with any relationship because it's it's so broad and vague here. This could be a family relationship or a love relationship or a work relationship. We have strengthening bonds. And I also have kind of a, somebody making an offer that you can't refuse. You might kind of put on a front for a little bit like, yeah, I can refuse, but I don't see it happening, Cancer. Um, you might be a little bit gloaty. <laughs> that's not even a word <laughs> but that's what i'm seeing okay let's look at the bottom of the decks queen of swords reversed okay i have no idea what that's about just so you know okay and the two of cups reversed what did i do i ruined the reading i don't want to do that <laughs> okay um let me clarify both of those because i'm really not sure why either of those are here okay three of wands reversed so we have not coming together, no alliance. That's so strange because I'm seeing the exact opposite in our reading. And the nine of swords. We do have somebody suffering. Oh, okay. This is what it is. This is only coming from you believing. Okay. And what's making it hard for you to believe is you've been scorned and you're very sad you're suffering in silence um and it's because you know you, you weren't together you lost some kind of a partnership this could be about work as well as any kind of relationship and what i'm seeing here is if you let that be your your origin of manifestation should i say because we did have the magician which is manifest that's what you're going to get. You're going to get the same old, same old. So that's why that was here. It was kind of confusing for a second. I was like, that doesn't make any sense. But that's what you've seen. And so you're, you're living by what you see instead of living by faith, for instance. Believe in the year of Jubilee is what I kind of get the idea. That might be the title of this. Really good. I like this reading. I'm sorry. I really like it. Okay. So... I'm going to pull out my next deck, which <clears throat> is my new favorite deck because I have a new deck and I didn't even have to spend any money because I took an old deck I hated and added my own words. And so it's now, it's really nice. So I've already cut and shuffled. Let's see what messages there are for cancers. Ooh, okay. Facade. Hmm, interesting. Let me get a little bit more. Oh. Okay, let me get a little bit more. I already know what that is now because I had to look at the other words that are on the paper or the card. I mean, what messages are there for cancers? One, I feel like you're supposed to kind of fake it till you make it. Okay, um, let's see here. Calling things out, calling those that are not as though they were, kind of what I get here. Hmm. Anything else? Jeez. I might be here all night. Okay. Opportunity. Okay, one, I just want to say be a little wary if an opportunity is a facade. Okay. But what I'm getting here is preparation and something with authenticity. And you're going to have a choice. One, because we have free will, but we also have offers being made. 
I feel like somebody's going to tell you a truth. And that could be the opportunity coming in. And they're probably going to tell you that they had on some kind of a facade at some point. This could be good. This could be negative. I feel like it's more good. Um, but what I would do is pray and be prepared. Um, so that when you come upon an opportunity, you'll be able to see through any kind of a facade. Let's look at the bottom of the deck. Secret. All right. We did have the high priestess, right? Okay. So one, I do think this person's going to tell you a secret. I already told you that like 10 times. Jeez. We also have divine guidance and higher knowing, which is like higher knowledge, like education. Um, so some of you might be taking a college exam. But this is just, this also reminds me of the, the high priestess a little bit. Um, Like the little birdie that Owl told me. Um, also have Harry Potter. <laughs> Some of you are getting an invitation to Hogwarts and it's something you never thought would happen. And it's going to happen. That might be quite literally like there might be a Hogwarts Universal Studios or something. But this is more like you really, really wanted to go to this magical place and you're going to. But you have to believe. Okay. Um, definitely getting a secret. And the secret could be... Ooh... Somebody's getting divorced. That Queen of Swords reversed and then Two of Cups reversed. Hmm. Or just breaking up. Oh, I wish I knew what the secret was exactly. <laughs> okay. It could be that, you know, they were putting on a facade before, or they've been putting on a facade and, you know, something deeper is coming. It could be if they were sad at some point. Oh. And they possibly want to make up with you. I saw sad and then I saw makeup, which is my own words. I was trying to figure out what it is. I'm, I'm so curious. A conscious action to make up. And they're going to be very humble and selfless. And maybe you do too. I also have a little bit of survivor here because um, we have the lotus bloom. And that's a survivor who um, rises from the mud. What is it? Um, 